Hi, in this video I would like to show you the new eSense web app. The new eSense web app is a new feature or extension of the mobile app uh, with a recent update of the mobile app where we introduced the new cloud functionality. I also mirrored my Android phone here to this computer I'm recording so I can show you in parallel the mobile app and the web app. The web app you can access uh, using uh, putting eSense.life into your browser URL. Um, then you will see this main page here to create an account at the up um, at the top right or uh, log in here. And um, this is the mobile app, the new update. When you start the mobile app, you will first see this log in or register screen. And um, I recommend you to register an account for free here in the mobile app, um, which you can do here. And then using the mobile app to log in and um, yeah, to use the features of this web app, you need to book a plan. We have two plans, the basic and the premium plan. Um, I'm explaining this in the features and benefits and everything about the new cloud functions in another video. Um, so this video is only about the web app. Again, if you do not want to use the cloud functions, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. There is continue without account. You can use the eSense mobile app completely offline, completely uh, anonymous, without any internet connection, any account, nothing at all of this. But if you like to have this new web app and new cloud functions, then you need to register an account and you need to book one of the two plans, the basic or premium plan. So for this demo, I'll show you, um, I will log in now with um, my Google account. Uh, so I tap on register and log in with Google here in the mobile app. And then I'm uh, logged in here. And um, then let's quickly have a look. Let's uh, choose, for example, the eSense skin response sensor. Um, which I can also quickly connect to my fingers to give you some real data for the demo now when we when it comes to the live um, data and real-time data and um, I choose open training and I um, sh let's uh, go into my profile which is this icon here the profile so quickly show you this is my um, profile in the mobile app and um, normally uh, when you register an account, you have are the user role a normal user. I'm a supervisor here, um, and I'll explain a little bit more about that later. So for certain users, we can give um, this supervisor role so that they can create a situation of a, a therapist or trainer with interaction with clients or patients um, with this eSense. Um, and to create some online group training and courses, for example. More about that in another video, because this now should be about the web app and the basic features. But um, yeah, you need to have this basic or premium plan to get access um, to the web app, because then if you have this, all your recordings, all your sessions are uploaded to the cloud. Um, you see that in the archive here that they all have this little cloud icon here. And now what I'm going to do is uh, in the web app, I'm also clicking here on register and log in with Google. And then I'm also logged in here. And to my, you see my, this is my personal dashboard in the web app where I can also see my profile, some stats if I'm part of a group, the basic or premium plan. Once you have subscribed to them, you can see um, the time, the beginning and ending uh, here as well. And you see as a supervisor, I have automatically all features of the premium plan. So if you are interested in becoming a supervisor, contact us. Um, we will, at, at the, while we are first now rolling out this new feature, there will be um, regular updates to this web app. And yeah, we are currently working hard to improve this more and more. So we will first just give this supervisor roles to some um, selected group of beta testers and users. 
And yeah, you can see here there's also a new section here. We this new section that we will give you some recent, um, some regular updates about the app, and um, you can have a look here. This is the same here. In the mobile app, you also have that new section where there's some new news. You see a little change in the profile icon here, and this little bell here um, is becoming red, I think. So now let's have a look at the most important function here is the My Archive link here, where you can see all the recordings you have done within the app synchronized and uploaded here to the cloud as well. So the list here is the same list as we have in the mobile app. And you can open some of these recordings by just tapping on them. You see the curve as well, a bit nicer and larger here in the browser. Um, we will also improve that and it's yet yeah, can resize it or zoom in more and things like that are in planning. And uh, you have the data here, all the statistics, everything. You have the pie charts here, uh, like you have in the mobile app as well. And uh, you can also uh, click on this little um, icon here to download the comma separate value file of the recording, which you can then open uh, in Excel for further analysis. Uh, if you like to do that, you will also have all of this here. Uh, now it's not correctly formatted due to my German Excel. Okay, um, so here you can look at all your sessions. All of them are uploaded. And more important here is the Analyze tab where you can compare how you have performed. There you have all your sessions. And with a new update coming soon, you can also um, select um, certain time frame of like the last day, today, last week, last month, etc., where you can um, then choose only a couple of sessions you want to compare within a certain time frame. Uh, you can get all the um, charts you have in the mobile app as well. Let's quickly have a look at how it looks like in the mobile app. It looks a bit different. There we have this uh, analyze tab and um, all these sessions here below each other. And um, if you would like to make a selection in the mobile app, there is this um, three dots here. And there you can sort uh, by name or length or date, or you can also select some sessions you just want, it, you, you want to use for the Analyze tab here. Uh, we will add that here as well. But yeah, you see it's a bit nicer maybe to look at this here in the browser and um, to compare your progress and changes in that. What's also new is that you can share records. As a premium plan user, you can share records with other users um, just by yeah, doing that in the mobile app. And if another user has shared some records with you, you will see them appearing here in the Shared Records tab. So this is an easy way if you want to like to show some of your sessions, uh, some selected sessions to a friend or someone you're working with or um, a supervisor, a therapist, a coach, whatever. You can do that. And another very nice feature is the live view. And the live view is uh, also only for premium plan users. In the um, mobile app, if you go to settings here, scroll down, at the very bottom, there you see um, there is a demo mode and the real-time streaming to web app, which you can activate in the advanced settings. And um, if you do that, then um, yeah, you can do any open training or procedure, and uh, it's instantly streamed here to the web app. If you are logged in with uh, your account, I will press start here now for this recording. Let's see if that works. I hope that works for you and for us here now. Okay. Yeah, you see here is the live incoming signal from at the moment from myself here. Uh, let me turn my smartphone so that I hope this works with this a bit difficult with the um, streaming in real time. 
Oh no, it has not worked. It's always a problem when you change the change into landscape while I am mirroring my smartphone. So I have to start that again and show you again one second. Okay, here we are and I start an open training again and then we can see the compare the curves a bit better than in the um, horizontal mode. Okay, here we are. This is the mobile app and behind you see the real-time streaming in the web app. Let me quickly try to demonstrate something. I'm going to take a deep breath. See it's increasing my value as well here and here. Now you see this is the live streaming and the live streaming we will also improve um, with the next update of the web app scheduled in two weeks you will have also the same view as in the mobile app with all the numeric values and a bar chart and yeah looking the same like in the mobile app not only the the graph we have here for this first demo video okay so maybe if you look at this video um, it's already updated and you will see some more here in the live view for that. Okay, let me stop that quickly. And this is a demonstration of the live view we have. And um, then this session, of course, I have done here. When I, I can look at that in the archive, here we have this new session from today. I can also go now to the archive here in the mobile app, and it should already appear here. Yes, here we are. Um, here it is. What we've just recorded um, is also uploaded to the cloud and shown here. Okay. So yes, uh, if you do not have the eSense skin response, but you have the eSense temperature, you just switch in between the eSense here at the top right. It's the same looking at the, your temperature recordings and the analyze, of course, is a bit different just uh, because there are different charts uh, if you look at the eSense pulse if you do if you have that eSense for your heart rate variability recordings you, it looks like that a um, bit different charts a um, bit different statistics of course but you you have them all here like the SDNN, RMSSD, NN50 etc uh, you can analyze them here as well you can compare your SDNN for example how you have performed uh, and see a nice progress indicator here for that. And if you, you have the eSense respiration to record your um, respiration, it looks like that. You see your breathing curve here recorded, some numeric values, some stats, pie charts, etc. Like this. Okay, so that's um, the first impression of the new web app. Uh, it's live now. Uh, you can use it. You once you have the new mobile app update and if you book a plan you can have access to all these nice new web app features and um, something else we will uh, introduce a bit later is uh, the situation um, you can I will give you a quick insight about that the custom live view where you can have access to several eSense in real time several users streaming the data to the web app in real time and um, yeah we will just uh, working on that finalizing that that you have nice charts here with also with bar chart and numeric values where you have the live view for many users around the world that can instantly stream their eSense data to the web app and a supervisor can have access only of course if the users allow that uh, in their settings. So what you have to do is in your profile as a normal user uh, in your profile you have to grant access to a certain supervisor to access your data. Only then the supervisor can add you here in this custom live view. And um, 
uh, you can then stream your data in real time here. And uh, also another thing is the the other users archive if uh, super uh, if a user allows uh, access to the archive to supervisor the supervisor can have a look at the data of that user here and um, yeah so in that case we can create some new situations um, of uh, interaction between a, th a supervisor or a therapist and a patient or a coach and client like that okay Thank you for watching and um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.